When we think about the future of business and the future of the corporation, there are some important global trends that are impossible to ignore. First, there's global population growth. We are at a population of 7 billion people on this planet, on our way to 9 billion by the year 2050. We also, at the same time, are experiencing rapid urbanization, so the growth of megacities, as well as the rise of the middle class in many emerging markets. All of that translates into an incredible demand at an unprecedented scale for food, for consumer goods, for housing, transportation infrastructure, energy, water. Feeding a population of 9 billion people by 2050 is going to be impossible if we don't find new technologies to do it. Providing energy and housing to that population is gonna be impossible if we don't figure out more sustainable ways to produce and use energy. We are beginning to experience very real constraints on the availability of many natural resources and agricultural inputs that go into making the goods that these nine billion people will need. So companies are gonna to have to be very innovative when they think about how they're going to make and deliver goods in the future at the scale and the pace that's needed. Corporate sustainability is an approach to doing business that recognizes that responding to social and environmental considerations can be good for business because it mitigates risks and it creates new opportunities. So when we talk about sustainability, we're talking about this intersection of three things, people, planet, profit. So sometimes we call that the triple bottom line. Sustainability is a corporate issue because companies are now larger than many countries. Uh, multinational corporations do business around the world. They have revenues exceeding the gross national product of some countries. And with that kind of reach, it's imperative that companies bring their values to where they do business. When I was in business school, sustainability was still a relatively new concept for me. I thought I wanted to be a doctor because I was really interested in science and I really wanted to help people. And I realized after taking a few environmental science classes as part of the biology major that it seemed that the long-term demands for using science to help people was gonna come more from natural resource management than from medical innovation. And that the next wave of critical care that's going to come to the average human was going to come from where they get their food, their water, and their energy, rather than where they are getting their, their medicine and their medical care. So that's why I shifted into really caring about sustainability. I was instantly hooked on this idea that we could use the power and the scale of the private sector to address large-scale global social and environmental challenges. It's a very compelling idea, right? that we can take the financial capital, the human resources, the skill sets, the discipline of business and apply it to innovating solutions to some of the world's biggest problems. One of my best experiences I've had since coming to business school was my internship at Walmart. I was working in global food sourcing and they're really uh, focused on lowering their food waste. It's a really big problem in all sectors of the food system right now is that we throw away way too much of our food. It's a business challenge. It's also an environmental challenge and it's a challenge to the consumer. And so Walmart's taking it very seriously. It was really exciting to be a part of that project. It really opened my eyes to different kinds of solutions that I never thought about from packaging to logistics to how long a piece of produce stays on the truck. There are just so many opportunities to tackle that environmental problem that also saves money. And that's why companies like Walmart are taking food waste so seriously right now. We see sustainability as not just a risk management tool, but a piece that should be embedded in the business. If it's not fundamentally embedded in the way we run the business, then it really won't be lasting. The role of the corporation and the expectations for corporate leaders are changing. Consumers are demanding more transparency. They care not just about what a product is and what it costs, but they also care about how it was made and where it was made. Sustainability is all about internalizing risks in your supply chain, in your workforce, all the way through to the way your product is made, to the way your product is distributed and then thrown away. 
It's all about recognizing that our natural resources are limited, that the way we treat our workers is critical to operations, and that it's not something that we can consider as charity anymore. It's something that is really central to the way that we operate businesses. When I began at DuPont in 2004, I think most corporate leaders thought about sustainability in terms of the imprint their company had on the environment. So what were the emissions coming out of their manufacturing plants? What was coming out of the, the water affluent? How did that impact the environment? And most businesses were focused on reducing that. You know, back in the day, we used to have government on one side, environmental groups on the other side, and companies were sort of in the middle. Now, companies are kind of leading environmental issues. It's no longer okay for companies to just leave environmental and social issues up to government to solve. Companies that are forward thinking really need to be aware of the global context and how it's shifting and be thinking about how they're gonna innovate, sometimes very radically, to do business in this changing context. It's gone more from a footprint reduction to an opportunity. How, how do I grow my business by bringing products that are gonna make society more sustainable? And I think the corporate mindset has changed again from looking internally to looking externally. As companies get um, into sustainability, they realize that there are um, really strategic opportunities around sustainability as a way of driving innovation in their products as a way of understanding their supply chain better and finding um, both more efficient and effective ways to manage their broader business system, as well as understanding where there are kind of red flags embedded in their broader business system that they need to address now before those become liabilities to the company. And then finally, I think companies that really take this on, beginning to see a shift of companies away from a traditional focus on footprint. In other words, all of the impacts that they have and how do they manage or minimize those impacts to realizing that business is uh, an incredible vehicle for delivering solutions for exactly these kinds of problems. When we think about innovation and sustainability, the possibilities are truly endless. I think that we can look at the challenges presented to us, climate change and, and challenges related to our, our changing world, uh, not only as challenges and problems, but as business opportunities. I think that our opportunities are endless to create new types of energy, new types of ways to run and fuel our world. I think that actually we're at one of the most incredibly opportune times in our existence. The opportunities are really tremendous. Today's students are going to be the ones leading change and innovation in the future. I'm very optimistic about the future because I firmly believe that people act in their best interests and people's best interests can align with the environment's best interests. That we want healthy foods, we want healthy world, we want healthy communities, and that we can achieve that through a mix of making smarter decisions and developing smarter technologies. I believe that, that those solutions are well within our reach. It's about identifying them and then helping them grow and helping them become central to our day-to-day -day lives. I believe that there has been a fundamental shift in the mindset of organizations toward a more sustainable practice and a more sustainable mindset and a more long-term view. And that leaves me optimistic that we can tackle this and be rewarded for it. We're seeing that markets are rewarding sustainable actions amongst businesses. We're seeing that consumers are valuing it. And I believe that we can continue to make that impact and more now than ever need to focus on it. No matter what industry you decide to work in, for the rest of your career, you can be a sustainability champion. If you are going to work in marketing, you can work to make the product design or the packaging choices better to minimize waste. If you're going to work in supply chain operations, you can advocate for better sustainability and labor standards with your suppliers. If you're working in investment banking, you can be a champion for impact investing, for green bonds or low carbon portfolios. And anywhere you work, you can be the person in your office who changes the culture to more of a sustainability mindset.
Don't underestimate your potential and your power to make change. 